All right, y'all, welcome back. PR here again. You know, I told you I was going back to that same brush pile that I fished the other day, and I do. Um, it, it's kind of early morning. I made a quick stop at the bridge and then went over, and then while I was at the bridge, I met some folks, uh, Greg and the boys, uh, the twin boys. So they come over and join me too. Y'all see them in here, and look, uh, they're making some plastic. So uh, I'm going to try, try some out and let you know what I think about them, okay? And I'll, I'll show them to you when I get them. So with some worms, uh, crappy jigs, stuff like that. So we'll check them out, see what they got. The boys, I don't know, they're 12, 11, 12, 13. <laughs> so we'll try them out. Anyway, we get back on this brush. I, and, and, and I told you I like to go visit again just to see how fast it replenishes. And then, it, and then some good fish show up the next day on that. And you'll see it. Pictures, though. I got Mr. Mike Bryant. What a great big crappy. I told you the big crappy are coming. The <laughs> big crappy are coming. This fall stuff's coming. Mr. Bryant, thank you for sending that. Mr. Foam, Mr. Foam, uh, Vang, or Vong, I, if I mispronounce it, I'm sorry, brother. Wisconsin, two big old crappy two, 12, 13 inches, beautiful fish. Thanks, man, for sending them. Uh, also, wow, Mr. Preston, got another big old crappy two. Mr. Preston uh, Lingerfelt, man, thank you for sending them. And then last, Corey Sage again from, out there from Oklahoma with his kids, you know, and you got to love just seeing kids get excited about fish, especially crappy fishing. His daughter and his son hold some nice fish up here, so y'all check those. Again, back on this brush pile, check it out. I find another one. It's going to be the next one. You don't want to miss it. You don't want to miss it because it's out in the middle of nowhere. And I find it. Check it out. Let me comment. Let me comment. Slam, look at there. So it's the next morning, y'all. You know I had to come back to this brush pile. Yeah, look at that. Another good old fish. Look at that. God. That's what I'm talking about. <clears throat> Gotta love brush pile fishing. Gotta love it. These are all good fish, man. Yeah. 
Whew, look at how pretty that fish is. Pretty old black crap. Let that little guy go. <laughs> Another good one. Look at that. Feeders. Slab boy. Look at him. Yeah. All right, so right now I'm just throwing across it and bringing it back slowly, throwing Charles' little two inch split tail. Eight, sixteenth, one sixteenth ounce lead head. Um, I hadn't got over top of it, went straight down like I did yesterday. So some of these fish are on the outer side, this side, the deeper side and I'm just throwing across it. Oh, just a baby this time. I'll let this little guy go. All right, Greg showed up with the boys. Checking Tyler. So we'll see if we can catch one on this pile. Good old slab, look at that. Just 
There's a big one. baby. Well, we caught some ghouls this morning. Let this little guy go. Hey, what'd y'all think? What'd y'all think? Leave me a comment. You know that it was. It was some good stuff there. Again, my little Albu Garcia set up. Bought from Walmart. Uh, people was asking me about the handler. Yes, I've cut that off. It used to be about like this. Five six, light, uh, five pound TSFC sniper, sixteenth ounce jig head with Charles custom made the jigs. Y'all check out Charles stuff. He does have a Facebook page, and also uh, text him. I'll leave his number. That's the pearl there, custom made jigs. Thank y'all. Until next, you know, crash.